Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Get Set Go. If you want to know about the beautiful places to visit in Iceland and get some helpful tips, then this video is for you. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. And first, we started off with shortlisting the places that we definitely wanted to visit in Iceland. Like the Black Sand Beach, the Geysers, Abandoned Plain, with some spots to cover in Reykjavik City, and then the beautiful waterfalls all across the south of Iceland. Down in the description box below of this video, I've also compiled some helpful tips along with a 5-day itinerary and I have included some of the links of interesting activities which you could do in Iceland. So friends, without further ado, let's have a look at our itinerary for 5 wintry days in Iceland. Depending on what time of the year you visit Iceland, your itinerary may vary as most of the northern side of Iceland is inaccessible in winters but guys from my experience I can tell you that we had a wonderful time exploring this country in winter. So guys our journey has started so sit back relax and watch me take you to all the places that I mentioned in our itinerary. First up is a destination which is most well known for its beauty and for being a shoot location for Game of Thrones, Bollywood Gerua song and Justin Bieber and so much more. It is the beautiful Black Sand Beach. The jet black volcanic sand and the waves hitting the basalt columns is the perfect view that we were craving for. The weather looked perfect when we arrived and this gave us a great opportunity to click some amazing shots at this destination. But as they say, the weather is unpredictable in Iceland, so the good weather didn't last for too long. And then we got some strong wind and snow in just a matter of 30 minutes. Although we were happy that we got some sun and clicked some amazing shots. And with this, it was time for us to move to our next destination with the hope that the weather will improve and we might get to see some sun again. So let's go! Guys, now we are heading to explore all the foss in the south of Iceland. Foss meaning waterfall in Icelandic. So every waterfall is going to have foss at the end. And the first waterfall that we are visiting is called as Oxaro Foss, if I'm not wrong, because most of the Icelandic words are difficult to pronounce. And this beautiful waterfall is located in Thingvellir National Park. So a short walk from the car park will take you to the waterfall. And as you can see, the park looks pretty icy and slippery. And it is very difficult to walk on ice quickly. But thanks to the crampons that we had with us, it made it easier for us to walk around on the ice. So guys, here's my top tip. If you're visiting Iceland in winter, please do carry your crampons as this will just make it more safer and so much easier to walk on the ice. I couldn't take my eyes off from this beautiful half-frozen waterfall and I personally love visiting Iceland in winter as in my opinion, these natural wonders look even more beautiful in winter. What do you think? Let me know what you think by commenting below on this video. Driving in Iceland was relatively easy and straightforward. Although we did experience some bad weather and for more details you can see another video of mine for tips on winter driving in Iceland. So here we are at Saladans Falls, 
and I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> but yeah, so this one is the big waterfall that everyone goes to that you can walk behind. But unfortunately, in winters, you cannot walk behind the waterfall. And as the winds picked up and the hail started hitting off hard, we had to rush to the car. Located on the river Skoa is one of the largest waterfalls of Iceland, Skoa Falls. You can walk right up to the waterfall to feel the spray on your face. It is due to the amount of spray Skoa Falls produces, a rainbow is always present when the sun shines. At this waterfall, you can also follow a steep staircase which leads to an observation deck to enjoy a fantastic view of surrounding landscape. So friends, next up is the most impressive and largest volume falls of Europe, Quitter Falls. This iconic waterfall is one of the most popular tourist attraction in Iceland. It is also called as the country's signature waterfall because of its uniqueness and beauty. So if you get a chance to visit this wonder, definitely take it. The crashed plane is located at a 2 mile walk from the car park but this place also gives you an option to take a bus which comes in every 20 to 30 minutes with a 10 pound fare for one side ticket. As the weather turned really cold with heavy winds we decided to take the bus. We realized that we made a wise decision by taking the bus because as you can see the weather got even worse in just few minutes of our arrival. On our way back to the hotel, we drove through very strong winds with snow, which reduced our visibility drastically. So guys, if you're interested to know more about the road conditions we faced in January, then do watch my winter driving in Iceland video for more details. A new morning and we have got a nice bright day at the Geyser Geothermal area. And we have come here to see the famous spouting hot springs of Iceland called Strokur. For all our 5 days in Iceland, we stayed in Reykjavik city. 
but from my experience I've added some important tips for you in the description box below. It is the largest church in the country and towers over the center of Reykjavik. Tickets to the church can be bought for 1000 Icelandic krona which is roughly 7 euros. You can enjoy a stunning view at the Sun Voyager on a sunny day. Next up is our favorite experience that is getting into the hot springs at Blue Lagoon. And friends, just so that you know, I have also made a comparison video for Blue Lagoon and Sacred Lagoon. So if you are interested, don't forget to watch it. And if you like the information I share, Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. On our last day in Iceland, we decided to keep Secret Lagoon for some relaxation. We thoroughly enjoyed the hot spring experiences in Iceland and would love to come back again. Last but definitely not the least, I'm going to take you to Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach, so stay tuned. This Nordic island is definitely one of a kind with its wonderful natural landscapes from geysers and hot springs to volcanoes and lagoons. This makes Iceland surely an unforgettable experience. You can also do activities like quad biking, ice cave tours which takes place all around the year or try your luck for northern lights from October to January or go for some whale watching tours or experience sleeping inside a bubble. I've shared the links for all these unique experiences in the description box below. So guys, if you enjoyed watching my video then please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.